Hello everyone, <laughs> my name's Bottletop Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. <laughs> I am standing in a little path that I have just made, uh, shortly after the last episode, where we made this uh, little warehouse for our, our villagers to go into, I made a path that I can hopefully funnel them through. So... We have access down here, and the first thing that we're going to do in this uh, in this episode is see whether we can get them to follow this all the way into there. They shouldn't be able to jump out of here. I don't think there's anywhere that they can go other than in, and once they're in here, we can deal with them. So, let's see how we go by coming down here, and what we're going to do is put hitboxes on by pressing F3 and B, and we're just going to do that and push them over in the direction that we want them to go. Will you... No. Will you just go that direction? Maybe. Nice! Alright, let's, uh, let's get the rest of them out and see whether or not they follow suit. I don't have any room in my inventory. <laughs> Alright, folks. Go for a wander. <laughs> Swim. <laughs> uh, I need to get rid of some stuff. Go on, out you go. How about we do this to make it easier for you guys? Hopefully, they should start making their way up in here. Go, 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 go. Yes, nice work. I'm just going to quickly dump a bunch of stuff into this barrel so that I have the room for those boats. Because I think what I'd like to do is put them all in the boats while they're in here so you eh, <laughs> can get in there and hopefully the rest too let's see how we go <laughs> come on <laughs> you can do it you you're doing so great come on oh there's a bit of a traffic jam come on now <laughs> this way on you go oh dear you know when you're like stuck in a in a line at a store and people move really slow Move. <laughs> thank you, thank you. There we go. And you can get into that as well. We're just going to move these guys out of the way so that they don't double up. Hopefully we can keep them all separated and that way we can put them in position one at a time. That's the ideal situation, but uh, whether it works like that, we'll, we'll wait and see. Oh, hello, sir. Please, this way. Thank you. <laughs> Perfectly. So it looks like they are making their way up this direction, which is good. How many have we got now? One, two, three, four, five. Half of them in here. Wonderful. Now, that's three more. Excuse me. On you go. Please, please, please. This way. They're fighting me. Look, your friend's going that direction. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. <laughs> A little bit of villager juggling to start off the uh, episode. Oh, we got to double up. That's okay. Now, there should be one or two more just as we're coming to night time. Two more. Okay. Up you go. Come on now. Come on. How about you come up here? Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Follow. You too. This way. Very good. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and where's the last one? Come on, yes, get in the boat. Success. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clear this up. I'm going to get myself uh, to sleep, and then we can finally get started on getting ourselves some villages in this world. I need that mending. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Now, I'm just removing some of this where we kept them. Because I do probably want to do something with this pool down here eventually, if I wait for that to uh, show up. There's a really nice connection down to quite an impressive looking cave system. So I kind of want to keep that available. And this was a little bit in the way. But what we're going to do just here, and this is a little something that if you've been around from the start, <laughs> you're going to be able to remember this. We're just going to put a sign here and say... From humble beginnings. So we have this little spot down here, which was 
the first place that we had our villagers. And one day we're going to be able to look back at a, hopefully, an impressive city filled with villagers everywhere, being able to walk around amongst their beautiful places. And there's going to be a little bit of a, a memory down here of from humble beginnings. This is where we started. And imagine where we'll be <laughs> when it comes to an end. Ah, all right. Uh, I got to be very careful because we still don't have that many villager. So I need to make sure that I don't break these tools. But once I've cleared this out, we'll head on up and start getting them a little bit more situated. So now, with the, uh, the place opened up a little bit more, I just uh, move this wall back a smidge and uh, try not to use too much of this pickaxe without <laughs> breaking it. I'm terrified that one of these tools I'm going to forget, like that one. But I've set it up so that I'm going to do five on each side. So I'm going to have... Uh, them sort of sitting in front of these blocks. These are my, I suppose, markers, my placement holders. And I think what I want to do is make some rails. Uh, hmm. I don't have the crafting recipe for them. Or am I blind? <laughs> I think I... I think... Oh, I'll show you what it is. I'll show you what's going to make it appear. When I do that, there we go. Now I should be able to go like this and uh, get myself a couple of rails. So I have enough iron here to make a cart for each and every one of them. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly set up in front of them a little path so that when I get these guys in the rails, they can all sort of slide in there and bump up against here and they should stay in position while I build around them. So let me see if I can <laughs> Can't quite get into that one in there, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll deal with that in a second. I might quickly need to sleep though. Oh, gee, that's pretty cute. All right, let's quickly sleep. Okay, so what I think I will do is put a cart here. Actually, no, no, no. <laughs> Watch this. I think this will work. If I drive them over just on top of the minecart rail, the trail, rail, mine, cart rail, railroad cart rail. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my brain then, but I'm keeping that in the episode. <laughs> oh dear. So on top of the rail there with the boat, I should be able to push this past... Maybe it's the opposite way. So they get uh, they get into the boat if they're already in that. Hmm, okay. Let's uh, let's see whether we can just get lucky and uh, knock him out and go. Come here. <sighs> it's okay. We'll uh, we'll try again. Okay. Now you can't go any. Oh wait. Now you can't go anywhere. I will hit you out of the boat and oh I'll put a block there so that it can't escape watch this great success uh, great success yes <laughs> okay all I have to do now is uh, something similar to that about nine more times and by about I mean exactly nine more times and then I can have them in position, we can set them up and start to sort of block them in. Now I don't want to go too serious with how I set them up. I think I'll just make sure that they're safe and have a little bit of protection over top of them. But other than that, we're not going to <laughs> make this super, super pretty in here. At least not in a way that I would design an interior for somewhere else. Because obviously these guys are going to eventually move. Uh, to some degree, a lot of them will. So I think we'll just keep it a nice little bare bones area for now. Okay, next one. Oh God, no. Flawlessly executed. I think if I do it like this and then hop out, I should be able to make myself another cart like this, put it there, which should block the way, and then go like this. No, no, no. Oh, I was going to say, how? How? Okay, that'll work. Perfect. Good. All right. <laughs> I don't need to show you me doing every single one of them, so I'll get those all situated, and then we'll pop back in. All right. 
So, I now have all ten of my villagers parked against their little blocks, their little walls there, and uh, safely in their carts. So they shouldn't move anywhere, and I think what I can do now is just go around and break out the uh, the rails here, being careful to avoid bumping them because I want them to stay perfectly aligned. There we go. Yeah, sneak in between them. And basically, now all I really need to do is get myself some workstations and I can start to set them up. But before we get too serious about that, what I'm going to do is actually just fill in those sections there because we're going to create a, a little bit of stuff in the way. So I think, hmm, yeah, we're going to go like this. Keep it very simple. Do the same thing on this side. Once again, just going to pop those in between. That way they're separated. Then uh, we might do it out of dark oak. We're going to do it like this so that they still have enough... Uh, view distance to see their friends, but a small enough gap that when we put something over top of them, they're not going to have any space to get in. So I think actually, since that is now visible, we probably want to maybe do this. Yeah, I think that's our best bet. And then we will do the exact same thing on the other side, like so. Nice, nice, nice. And for starters, that's sort of our little base stations. Now, I kind of, oh god, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to get too serious about it, but now I kind of don't like the oak behind it. So, <laughs> we're going to go like this, and then I think I want to go the uh, stripped spruce instead. Just because with uh, the way that I've got these lower sections of the future city built, I like the darkness of the docks and the industrialness of these areas. So having the colours be a little bit more muted, a little bit more uh, wet feeling, I suppose you'd say, <laughs> if that makes any sense, uh, it's just going to help towards creating the same sort of environment, same sort of aesthetic around the whole area. So yes, rather than there being this strange brightness of the oak, we've now got a bit more of a dull, uh, muted colour, I suppose you'd call it. Cool. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Wonderful. So, now I need to decide exactly how I want to cover the top of their heads. <laughs> There's sort of no real easy way, especially with the height that I've got here, to nicely fit them in there. There is always the uh, opportunity to put a second layer and actually add some more villagers on top, but I'd like to avoid that if I can so that we only stick with these guys. So, let me grab, what have I got? Let me see what I can do with these materials that I have on me. For starters, I think that window is going to get covered up, so what we might do is pop outside and actually destroy that remove the uh, the stuff there and that can just be a plain wall like so and then yeah we'll leave it like that for now we can always uh, add some leaves or something in there actually yeah let's uh let's add some oak leaves yeah something a little bit like that not too bad <laughs> we can uh we can fiddle around with that more a little later on Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the more I'm just going to keep going if I don't stop. <sighs> hmm. Not too bad. Alrighty. So now... Oh, we probably want to raise that other one up by one as well. And we'll remove that. Okay. <laughs> Much better. So now what we can do is uh, pop up over on top of here. And I might go this... Continuing that sort of uh, spruce backdrop. And then we're going to go with the half, or with the stairs, I should say, over top of their heads, like so. And something like this, maybe. <laughs> maybe? Actually, this could work. If we do that, that's going to stop anything from being able to get in there once we put the workstation in those areas. But at the same time, it should allow the experience to come through depending on the uh, 
the workstation. So if the workstation is a solid block and it allows things to attach to it like that, probably not going to work. But at least it should make it sort of easy to get some stuff through. So if that's the case, rather than having those stairs above, maybe we go a full block. Okay, put the stair there like that, and then we'll actually block in that end and continue that down. <laughs> Does that look a little weird? Maybe no, not that there, but instead and this and this and this. Now I feel like that's sort of locked in. Now what I can do is get these and if I go like this, that way it puts it down in front. Nice, <laughs> we're starting to get it all tied together a little bit more. So most of the time that will stay open and we have full access to them with a, a workstation in front of them. I can come up here, trade with them. We can close it up if we feel like we want to protect them for any reason. Nothing should be able to get in around and get to them. And they should be quite safe. Wonderful. I think for now, I keep changing my mind. <laughs> We might also go upside down stairs in there. Just feels a little bit better. That should actually stop them from being able to get in there. And something like that. Nice. <laughs> I think that's actually what I'm going to stick with for now. Cool. Let's emulate that on the other side. And rather than reusing the, uh, the trap doors over and over, should be able to just do this instead. I need three more. Uh, of course. When will we get the wood version of the stone cutter? A wood cutter, please. <laughs> All right. I only needed two more and I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. So with that, we've got all of our villagers locked in. I think it's time to go get ourselves a lectern and bring it down and turn one of these into a mending villager. And I can't sprint anymore. So while we're up there gathering the things that we need, being the sugar cane and whatnot, to make ourselves a little bit of paper, and then we can also turn that into the books that we need, I'm going to uh, make some more bread. Or maybe kill some cows. <laughs> we'll see when we get up there. So... Most times when I come up here, I get rid of the uh, sugarcane again, but lately we've been too far away for this stuff to grow, I believe. Sometimes it just stays in this state until we get closer, but I do have a little bit built up, plenty of hay, but not so much of the sugarcane. So we are going to have to be smart about how we use our paper. Uh, I'm just going to quickly put away some of this junk. We probably need to sort out a little bit more of a permanent solution to a living situation. And I'm thinking, in a future episode soon, that hill there, which in my plans for the, uh, the city, I drew a bit of a mansion. I'm thinking maybe we become the, uh, the lord of this city. We become the one that lives in a manor. And we can set up a bit more of a decent sized base, a little bit more permanent of a base with some storage in it. A little more centralized, I keep saying a little more, <laughs> centralized to everything around. So centralized to this area, to the mines, to the city, etc. So I think in a couple of episodes we might start tackling that. For now though, it's time to sleep and we've got a couple of other things to take care of. For starters, I'm going to grab that and a couple of these potatoes. I've sort of been varying up my diet a little bit. Uh, ooh. <laughs> As we go through this, one, two, three, four, should have grabbed two more, but that's okay. And I've been eating all sorts of different food sources. We're going to turn that into paper. Beautiful. And I think we have some leather. We do. Oh, we've got plenty of books as well. Okay, so we don't need to turn anything to books. We've got plenty of that. That's fantastic. That means we can use what limited supply we have to trade some paper with our villagers. We probably want to set up a bit of an automatic farm soon uh, to start to feed them because we'll probably have a couple of the uh, librarian villagers. But for now, that's going to do us to get the initial pieces that we need. And I think I have a little bit of emerald. 
I do. A little bit of emerald in there that can get us started otherwise. So we're going to grab those dark oak planks and make ourselves a bookshelf. And then using these half slabs, we should be able to make a lectern. I'm just going to stick with that for now, I believe. Uh, the rest of the stuff that I want to decide will decide after we get mending. The main priority for me right now is absolutely just get the mending so that I can I can fix these tools. So let's go down there, let this uh, sort of cook away up here, and we will go try and cycle through until we get the mending book that we need. Okay. So for some reason, every single time that I've come into here, I've just felt like this guy is my mending trader for some reason i've just been imagining that this is the one that i put the lectern in front of so we're going to put this lectern there next to our axe and see yeah what we get so it could take forever or it could take a few minutes i should be able to actually remove him from the cart if i so desire with this trapdoor in the way He's not going to be able to get out, so... Hmm. If he doesn't take this, uh, this job, is one of you taking it? <laughs> not sure. Ah, oh, it might be too early in the morning. It shouldn't be. Ah, villagers, they're hard to work with. Maybe we we'll remove that for now. Hello, my friend? All right, you're being stubborn. Oh, no! <laughs> uh... Uh, quick thinking, quick thinking, quick thinking, quick thinking. Blah, 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 blah. Get in. <laughs> Villagers are just so difficult to work with. No, no, no. Free reign it is. <laughs> okay. Select. Use. Do something with that, please. Ah. <sighs> I think a few of you probably know my struggle here. Give me a moment, let's see if I can get this guy sorted out, and then we'll try again. <sighs> As you can see, it's going well. Oh my goodness. Villagers. <laughs> Please work. Oh, thank. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I kid you not. I kid you not. I just got that villager back into his spot. Oh my goodness. 26. Okay. 26 isn't too bad. 26 isn't too bad. Uh, that will get better once we zombify them. I had to block off the bases of all of these guys because other ones were taking the job somehow. I don't know. And I also had to remove... From if I can even get out there, it's a struggle. I had to remove all of these barrels as well. For some reason, oh, I gotta be careful. For some reason, it just wasn't taking the job. <sighs> okay, log her in. I am going to have to put in some more work to get myself another eight emeralds, but <laughs> we have a mending book. Okay. <laughs> While it's day, I'm going to quickly go for a little explore out this direction, I think, and see whether I can find any more sugarcane just in the wild, rather than waiting for that stuff up there to grow. So, oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually weird. All right, let's uh, jump on our horse and we'll go for a little ride out this direction. Grab a few more pieces of the sugarcane to hopefully make a little bit more paper and once we get that first mending book done uh and hopefully unlock the next layers of of things that that person can trade that that villager can trade then i can start to uh work out different ways to gather the emeralds so we're going to go out here there's a few pieces that i can see immediately and it shouldn't be too hard to gather some more just by going for a, a decent little walk around so blah, 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 that lagged there we go and i'm just going to collect what i can and things have a way of turning out for the best. Because with a little bit of adventuring, slightly away from our main base, looking for stuff like this around the river edges, we found ourselves a mega tiger, a huge spruce forest. So knowing that there's one of those in the world fairly nearby is also quite good 
and uh, exciting as a prospect of some, ooh, goodness me, as a place that we could potentially do something in the future as well. Plus, have a look at that village with the waterfall on the side of the mountain. I love it. <laughs> Still probably need a little bit more sugarcane though. So, back on the horse, and we continue. Um, as the sun sets, look at that mountain. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, and it looks like a dark oak forest over there as well. So we have this uh, mega tiger there and a beautiful mountain with a dark oak forest at the base. <sighs> All right, it's getting dark though. Time to head home. Didn't get that much more, but we'll see how we go. Okay. Now, I managed to find myself a little bit more as we made our way back as well. Which means I can make, hopefully enough, I don't think it will be, honestly, but at least enough to get a few more trades done. So if we come over to you here, there we go. And, oh, that's good. We can actually get the remaining ones that we need, like so. Waste those books, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. We get a little bit of a discount <laughs> after doing so, and we should be able to buy ourselves our first mending book. Amazing. Amazing. That's great. So, we can go and combine that with either our shovel or our pickaxe. We're going to have to work out a better way to start getting uh, emeralds. So, we're going to leave him there for now, and I think I might maybe start with the, we, uh, mm, this side. <laughs> We're going to start here and put down... <laughs> I had to move it all over here so that I uh, didn't get them to use it. Make a farmer villager. Because something that we can do pretty quickly is add to the farms up top and start growing a lot more crops. So if I do this, will you take the job? Or is it too early in the morning? Hmm. Villagers confuse me. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. There we go. Okay. Wheat and carrots. Honestly, not a bad one to start off with. So we've got all of that hay up top there that we can use for the wheat. That's going to get us a decent supply of emeralds to start off with. And uh, we can grow some carrots too if we so desire. So if I pop up top... Grab myself mm, two stacks of that and then head all the way back over there, which is why I think I want to build a base there where I can keep my horses, where I can live and store items and everything like that, rather than running all this way. And then we come over to this one and trade up a bunch of hay. Look at that, 31 emeralds. Although I do wish that that was instead maybe a pumpkin. Oh well, maybe that's the next trade actually. So, with the 31, we should be able to go back across here. Grab ourselves a second mending book. Ah, oh, so good. And then hopefully, maybe we could get ourselves some pumpkin pies. Just to get them up to the next level. Hmm. So yes, I think usually in that position would be a pumpkin trade, but that's okay. We've got a melon trade. That's pretty good. And honestly, I think pumpkin pies are pretty good as a food source, especially at this stage of the game. But it looks like we might have exhausted the, uh, the trades for the wheat today. I might make myself a second one and see if we can get a second... Wait, <laughs> I've got the slabs on me. See if we can get a second farmer going, like so. <laughs> Perfect. And we will do the same thing here. Another apple trade. That's okay, though. And I think that's all the trades we can do. And with that, we get ourselves a third mending book. And that's going to let me put mending on these three tools. I'm not so worried about the armor just now. I think it's going to survive long enough for me to raise up enough funds to buy some more of these. But the tools... They're getting desperate, so <laughs> with those guys locked in, we're going to now go across to our area over here. And over in the mine area, I know I have one of these available. We're going to grab our silk touch and put mending on it. 
our sword and put mending on it. And then our diamond shovel. Hmm. Yeah, we can add to that later. We're going to put mending on it. <laughs> so those three now have mending. And I can go down into my skeleton spawner, do a little bit of grinding, get some more levels back. But more importantly, I can heal up these tools back to full health. Mending is the best. 251. Let's heal it all up. All right. Very good. So now I have these tools all healed up back to full durability, which is so amazing. So convenient. That means that I can go around and uh, use them a lot more again. And I'm just going to put a couple of these things away. I think we can leave this for now. I'll clear that out probably next time I come down here. And we're going to go back up and continue work on uh, our little trading hall. And probably try and find a place to sleep. And hopefully that rain clears up. Beautiful. I actually deliberately ran the entire way over here so that I could exhaust my food. Because I actually didn't know how much... Hold on. <laughs> Let's wait and see whether or not I have to deal with this guy. <sighs> I want to see how much food uh, a pumpkin pie refills. Four. Okay, not bad. Because I did think that they were a fairly decent uh, food source, even though it's a bit expensive. If we are in a bit of a pinch and we need some more food, we can get that as a good food source. I don't think the saturation will be that great compared to other foods, but for now, pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do now is uh, close that up. <laughs> I'm going to uh, continue this flooring a little bit and maybe, maybe in here, bring down... The flooring so that it's rather than being a half slab it is down at the level that we need so that we can stand uh, comfortably in front of these villages so i'll just clear this area out and the same on the other side like so and then i think i will uh now that my tools are healed i think i will clean that up a little bit uh, fix the walls up a smidge as well and hopefully this will be a decent little room we might leave the back wall untouched because I might want to add more down there, down the line. Maybe even a walkway going up and out. We'll see. But as long as I can get these uh, sides fixed up a little bit and clean it up, I think that'll be nice. So let me just do that. I'll uh, try and tidy it up and we'll be right back. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think I tidied it up fairly well uh, for something that's just going to be a temporary thing. When I say temporary, it's probably going to be like this for 50 episodes, let's be honest. But <laughs> uh, it will probably change over time. And I would like to have this main road or uh, path be a way through, a thoroughfare through the center up to other things or into other things. We'll see. But for now... Um, there's one last thing we probably need to do before we finish this episode. It, it feels a little wrong. It, it doesn't quite feel right to do this, but it, it has to be done. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. I'm just minding my own business. I'm running back to the uh, trading hall. You can't see anything behind me. I need to get in here and trade with trade with my my villagers <clears throat> oh god a zombie <laughs> i hope he doesn't hurt my villagers wait god damn it <laughs> i hope i hope he he doesn't accidentally hurt my my villagers <laughs> Oh no, what a, what a tragic, tragic accident. <laughs> oh. oh no, oh that's the stupidest thing I've ever filmed. <laughs> but I'm going to let this guy uh, do the business inside there while I say thank you very much for watching this episode, folks. With this, there's one thing that we're going to need to do, and that is start brewing up some potions. 
And to do that, that means we have to go to the nether and get ourselves some blaze rods. So in the next episode, we're going to build ourselves a nether portal. We're going to head on over to the nether and see if we can find a fortress and do all of that jazz so we can come back and make up for the curse that is what we have just done to our villagers in here. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'd like to say thank you very much to my Patreon supporters, especially my level 3 supporters Ness, Carl and Master Shifu. Thank you guys. We just started season 2 of the SMP, which is an LGBTQ friendly and family friendly server that you guys can uh, can come over and join. If you want to come over to the Discord, everybody's super friendly there. We've got a really nice little community going and you're more than welcome to. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a bit of a, a different one, not necessarily as much done, but I think we've got a pretty good little setup going in here. I'm going to be able to heal up these guys and get some easier trades and also get some new villagers once they are healed. But until such time as we get a chance to go into the nether in the next episode, I hope you guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. Oh, how dare you? How... How dare you? Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so... I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm done. Take care, everyone. I'll see you later. <laughs> Whoop!